Hello everyone and welcome to Farming Sim 17 Let's Play. Um, we're full of beets. We have a lot of beets to go. I think we're on the way to feed our pigs based on this setup I had left myself with. So we have some corn. Looks like we have some straw. Looks like we have some potatoes in the old bucket here. Uh, let's make sure we don't drive over our beets. We might as well take this little path. Um, we will start doing forestry eventually and get rid of some of these trees. I've started cleaning up my farm on my other, like my my solo playthrough, and I got rid of a lot of those trees. And it's been really nice not to have those uh, in my way. And then it kind of opens up a lot more grass. You can see, like, there's kind of a field of grass there, but it's full of trees. Get rid of those trees. We'll be able to mow a little bit more. Uh, I... I found out when I was recording my silage, or, or sorry, my baling tutorial, that you can sell silage bales at the uh, barn over there, just like you can sell hay and straw bales, and they sell for like 1900 a piece, and all we have to do is mow, round bale, and wrap it. We don't have to do any hay, uh, so that, that could be a really nice profit for us if we get that set up. And then, of course, if we have all that, we'd also be able to do uh, more with the cows and sheep, obviously. Um, I haven't quite, as, as you can tell, I haven't quite gotten around to the golden nuggets yet. Uh, let me check my... Uh, we really need to sell some of this stuff. Anyway, um, okay, so yeah, we really need everything. Um, so let's drop this in. Yeah, I haven't quite gotten around to gold nuggets yet. Just haven't, just didn't have a free 60 to 90 minutes to uh, go around the map and collect them. So I will get there eventually. I'm sort of towards the end of... I wonder where that pallet's just sitting there. I do not remember doing that. Um, I'm sort of at the end of my tutorial creation, or at least sort of the... Uh, let's see, I need to get this straw in here. Or sort of done with like the peak of it. I've, I've gotten a lot out that I've wanted to. Um, still have a f you know, still have more to make, just it won't be such a... Um, what do I... How, what do I rapid output, I guess. Um, kind of running into topics that will require a little more time and research, and um, yeah, I just the majority are done. So once those are kind of done, I, I, I'll have a little more time to uh, dedicate to this Let's Play, of course. So there's my uh, excuse there. Let's go ahead and dump this... Oh gosh, what, where am I putting my straw? I, I'm, I really want that hayloft so badly. Um, Oh yeah, that's my reward for doing the gold nuggets, isn't it? It's all coming back to me now. So I really need to do those gold nuggets so I can get myself a hayloft. Because man, it is just quality of life improvement. It's so nice. Okay, so we need to disconnect... Oh, what am I doing here? We need to disconnect this one. We need to go dump the potatoes. Don't fill this up, please. Um, I have come to find out while researching. Um, I think someone left a comment, actually, is how I found this out. You can actually store beets and potatoes in the train system storage. Um, so I could move all those potatoes there. I mean, there's one really close to the uh, pigs that I might dump uh, some of these beets into and and get all these off the ground basically uh, so that was a really nice find um, so thank you if, if, if you watch this and you're the one who told me that on my comments thank you for that uh, it's huge of course we can't put in our own silos but it's really nice they let us put it into that storage in fact I think it would be a good idea to do that now. Um, our... Oh, gotta really concentrate when I back up. So let's go put this corn back. Our worker 
of course, can... I really wish I wouldn't have put that jet wash, car wash thing there. Oh well. We're done with it. Uh, you know, it's, it's done. It's over. It's, we did what we did. How are our other animals doing on straw? Get... Wait. No. Not good. Cows need it. Okay, cows need it. Uh, I probably should have taken this down to the cows, but I really want to get these beets going. So let's dump this out. Let's get our uh, worker going on the beet harvest, and then we can go store a load of beets into the train system storage up by our pigs. And I think just one load will be plenty for a long, long time. Let's stop and get these. I I sort of just do this every now and then in my solo playthrough, and all of a sudden I sold them once and had like $3,000 just from eggs, so might as well just pick them up when I'm driving by. Um, someone also told me when it comes to the front loader, if you let go of the bucket or, or whatever is attached to it first, like if I, uh, t there, like that, then I put this on the ground and unattach it, then that's how it's supposed to go. Then you can just drive into it. Um, so, yeah. So instead of trying to uh, un, uh, what do I want to say, decouple all of it at once, which of course led to some disastrous results last time, um, that is a good tip. So, really, really helps to have uh, people commenting because <laughs> they are uh, telling me things I probably never would have discovered on my own, or at least not as soon as I would without their help. So, uh, thank you out there for those who have been. Um, helping me out so I can improve my sorry, really concentrating here sometimes uh, so I can improve my tutorials this time around okay, so let's get these unloaded so that we, our worker can at least keep going this is going to take probably a few episodes to finish it, it it's a big field of beets beets have very high yield, which is why their price is so low in the uh, mark it. Wait a minute. No, 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 no. Wait, is that it? Oh, yeah, 6,000. Yeah. Well, okay. So what do we need for this? Wheat, barley, canola, sunflower. And we still need straw. But we can always use a loader, loading wagon for straw. Um, let's just go and load this. I know I'll go a little faster without this tipper, but I just don't want to deal with backing up and so this this will be fine. So basically, uh, the train tutorial should be out this week uh, if if you're waiting on that to use them. But um, yeah, basically it's just extra storage. Like if you're out of silo storage and you don't want to buy silos, you can put them in the train storage and then take them to the Maple Field. Is it Maple Field? Maple Field Mill. Whenever you are wanting to sell. I sell almost exclusively at the mill because I love the trains. Um, I did try to use it with lumber and it did not go well for me. Um, I had it all nice and neatly stacked on my trailer. I drove it to the train. I tried to unload it with the train crane, um, Dr. Fraser crane, and then of course everything just sort of flew up in the air and completely got messed up. So anyway, um, I still need to practice that. So if you're looking on the map, um, there's a gold nugget, I think right here. Oh, that must be somewhere else. Um, we might as well find that. Must be outside. Yeah. Hello. Thank you. 17 out of 100. Okay. So yeah, this one's really close to the pigs, which is why I am putting it in this one. I think 6,500 will be plenty for a long, long time. Um, it's only 5% of their diet. So I don't think I'll put any more in there. Then when we want to unload beets, all I have to do is drive under here and there you go. And I'll finish up, before I use any of this here, I'll finish up that pile that I have on the ground before I knew I started that pile before I knew you could put them in the in here. Um, but anyway, it is important to note if you're using trains. Uh, I'm sounding like I'm doing a tutorial, 
uh, and it probably will be similar to what I say in my tutorial, but anyway, if you are using the train system, it is important to note that if you put them in one, it does not put them in all of them. So if I put it there where I just did, if I would go to the one sort of right to the east of the sheep, it would not have sugar beets in it. I would have to use a train to take it to there, uh, which makes sense, but it is something I tested because I thought maybe they would make it super easy on you, but I'm, I'm glad they don't. That would be kind of crazy, but yeah. So I put those by the pigs since we'll use those for the pigs. I'll put all the rest of the beets in the one by the sheep since that's the one that we can then travel to uh, Maplefield Mill. And if we look at the prices, here we go. Yeah, they're super low, 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 low price, but they're really plentiful. That's why they, I, I think they're really good for um, pigs because then you have, basically with one harvest, you have a ton of beets and they'll last you for a long, 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 long time. I still don't get how those didn't get top. Well, I do. We didn't plant, eh, it's weird, whatever. Things happen, right? And the beat goes on. <laughs> uh, just cannot stop the beat puns. They're, they're the, the easiest to make and for sure the most hysterical. Um, if you're, um, let's see, by the time you watch this, the beets tutorial should be out. The beets and potatoes, the root crop tutorial. So, if you're not sure how to do all this, uh, that's out now. Okay, so we don't need, oh, why did I do that? Why did I, did it get in there? Oh, thank goodness. Okay, so we could fill this up with straw and take it to my cows and get their productivity up. We could also just leave this here and use this loading wagon and truck. And I only have, yeah, two tractors because we sold one because we were spending so much. Um, we could also just use this truck and that tipper and that would be a lot faster. Let's do that. I do highly recommend upgrading your truck to the the bigger lizard truck. It is it, it pulls things way is it's a lot more powerful. Um, and I haven't messed with engine upgrades, so I don't know how helpful those are. Uh, for example, if I went to the customized shop, I can put a bigger engine in this for ten thousand, or an even bigger engine for twenty. Um, but they don't tell you stats, so I don't know how that compares to the um, bigger truck. And then the bigger truck does... N I don't want to... S no, I don't, I don't remember if the bigger truck also has engine upgrades or not. Um, are those... Did it go through... How did we mess that up? Well, all right. So yeah, we'll use all this up before we even touch that train system. So we're going to be set for a while. Everything else we do with beets can be sold, I think. I don't think there's any reason to keep them. Um, I don't think we'll ever run out. Okay. So how much straw do you think we need? We need a... Okay, I think that'll be plenty if we do... Like 2,000. I just want to make sure I can get there quickly. Think that's good? Yeah, that's good. Helper E has a full tank already. Holy cow. It is, there is a huge, huge difference between this harvester and the, uh, the upgraded one. Um, because I used both for my tutorial. And if you look, this one only holds 6,000. This one holds... What, 45? It's insane. Plus, of course, this one you don't need a tractor for. It drives itself. Um, but, of course, the price is a pretty big difference between 573,000 and, like, 100 and whatever. Oh, gosh. 105? Ish. I'm not confident with my math there, but... Anyway... Let's go to the cows. Well, gosh, should we just... Oh, we don't have a mower, do we? So we can't 
do grass, we can't do silage, we can't do hay. Okay, I guess we'll just give him straw. Um, yeah, you don't need to watch me drive all the way across the map, so I'll see you in just a bit. Okay, there is a nugget here I'm going to grab. I just don't quite remember where. There it is. Right there. Those sneaky giants developers. And to the cows. Okay, here we are. All we have to do is drive here, empty it out. Hey buddy. Uh, let's see, what did we name him? Hazel, Hazel the second? Hey Hazel the second. Um, oh gosh. We used all our straw. Oh gosh, they take way more straw than pigs. Wow, I don't know how I never noticed that. So we need like twice as much. We're not going to do that. But my oh my, I kind of thought they would take more, but not like five times more. Wow. Uh, we really need to get a mower. And how much is just a cheap... 9,000 is the cheapest mower? Oh gosh. Um, and we have blown through all our loans, right? Oh no, we have money. Okay. So, we can get a mower. Oh, but again, if we do, if we get into forestry first, uh, you know, I don't need to drive that back to the farm this episode. I do, no, I do, I need that, I need that darn tipper. I should have just taken the loading wagon. Um, we could get a bigger tipper. How much money do we have? 48. Hmm. What do we think? It's pretty small. I could sell this and then buy... Yeah, we need a bigger tipper. This is... This is getting ridiculous. Why am I driving through the field? I don't know. I don't know at all. Okay, yeah, let's sell this. We don't need this little guy. Or, or we could keep it and have three of them. I mean, why not, right? Let's see. Tipper, tipper. I think all these connect... And I have, let's say I have this metal tech. Is this the one that's costing us much money? I mean, it's really not. Uh, we have that, we have this. This is 15, $19,000. We could spend 27 for, tw I think I like the farm tech. And we don't really have a lot of powerful tractors. Let's do this. Yeah. And then our next one will be the Agriliner, and we can sell this for that. Okay, hopefully this truck can back this up well enough. Oh, it's got that thing. Okay. Well, I know how to solve that problem. We want to... How much does, does this sell for? Oh, ugh, no, we might as well keep 8,000 storage. We definitely don't want to uh, buy... Yeah, we're good. Tipper-wise, we're good right now. Oh, this tractor I don't think is going to be able to do this. But we are sure going to try. We could also try upgrading the truck for ten or $20,000 and see if it helps. Hey, it's gonna be fine. Okay, back to the farm. Okay, so what I was saying about the forestry and grass uh, yard field, basically, if we get rid of these trees here, just these like five, and then those uh, four or five there, we basically have this whole rectangle here for mowing and that's actually quite a bit of grass and we don't have to then convert I mean even on the map you can see right between field 12 and 15 that huge rectangle of grass it's it's enough to work with and then we wouldn't have to convert one of our fields to grass which would be pretty huge um, to avoid and all we would need is a chainsaw a stump grinder which are like 6,000 total and then we just get, need to get a log fork 
uh, for this instead of the bucket. And then we can either just put the logs aside for a bit, we can lease a wood chipper, I mean, basically anything to get rid of the trees. Um, but I think it would be doable, like, in the next episode. Um, uh, let's see, I want to uncover this. Uh, I mean, it would take some time. But man, then we could just get a mower and have that. Oh, that would be... I really wish I would have done that in my solo game. Um, instead of my solo game, I converted field 15. Uh, the one basically at the... the one right over there where our straw is right now. I always forget what side the pipe's on. Um, I converted that to grass, and so now I only have two fields for crops because I haven't bought another one yet. But I think this would be... I, I think it would be good. And we'd have some money from the lumber. Uh, we could just buy... let's see. Because even the trailer's not much. We'd need a dolly. We would need this. We could buy this, but I hate it. Um, and this is cheaper. I think the case, I think that case tractor would be fine with pulling it. Um, and then we just need a chainsaw and a stump grinder. Hmm. And then we can lease this or or figure something out. Um, yeah, I think we're going to maybe do that. That way we can get to uh, mowing so that we can get hay and grass and silage and feed our cows and our sheep and all that. So, whew. Okay. We will continue beet production and maybe start a little forestry next time. So, yeah. That'll be nice. Hope you enjoyed the episode. Thanks for watching. Have yourselves a very nice day.